Hello everyone, my name is Emily, and today I'll be starting a new segment on this channel called Drawing YouTubers. Yes, it's kind of a very basic name, and I probably could have come up with something that was a little bit more clever, but I feel in this situation that simplicity is kind of the best way to go. It's easy to search for, it's self-explanatory, etc, etc. If you guys think of any better name that I could use, it would be awesome if you could comment that down below, and if I end up finding something I like, I'll definitely credit you and mention you and use that name from here on out. But for now, it's just gonna be drawing YouTubers. Before anyone asks, yes, I know I was supposed to upload a sketchbook story time this week talking about my experience with a sociopath, but the story is just so long, there are so many moving parts, even when I cut it down and remove bullet points and cut conversations, it still was about 54 minutes long. It was ridiculous. So here's what I'm gonna do for you guys. If I were to have cut down the audio, it would have been like four parts, 15 minutes each almost, and I just didn't think it was fair for four weeks that you guys listened to the same story with the same piece of artwork. So I'm going to upload all 54 minutes of me telling the story on Tuesday with the accompanying piece of artwork done in roughly real time. I'll have to match it to exactly 54 minutes. That way you guys can hear the story in its entirety. It'll be a little bit more coherent that way. You won't have to wait for parts to come out. You won't be left on a cliffhanger. You can kind of see my painting process slowed down so you can actually see what I'm doing. And the most important part is that it's not going to interrupt my regularly scheduled uploads. I really hope that makes you guys happy in my mind. That was kind of the best solution to this dilemma. Just like a bonus video, basically. Now, obviously, there is a little bit of revealing content about me in this story. Stuff that I really haven't tried to hide, but stuff that I guess I just don't openly talk about. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about my personal life, definitely feel free to give it a listen. All right, Emily, get your knuckles out of your fucking asshole and talk about this artwork. This is a portrait of Olivia Cara. She does story time videos here here on YouTube and challenges and things like that, and I think she is an absolute doll. That, I'm not even joking, she literally looks like a doll. Her, her skin is like perfect, and her eyes are big, and she just has this adorable voice, but she's still like pretty and sexy, and I don't know how she does it, but I really enjoy her videos. I think she has some really quality content, and holy shit, I'm not joking, it is literally like a doll telling you a story. And that sounds t terrifying, but, but it's, it's, actually, it's actually quite comforting. So on top of tone gray paper, I used a regular graphite pencil, a black colored pencil, some colored cold erase pencils, a white charcoal pencil, and then some gel pens. A few years ago, I found an artist who just did this really incredibly dimensional work on toned paper with colored pencils and white charcoal, but they still maintain this really interesting slightly cartoony aspect about their art. Like, I, I don't know how they did that. And I just, I really wanted to recreate that here. Um, you know, not push the limits, not make it too realistic. It wasn't fucking hard because I'll say it again. This girl's like a doll. She's like porcelain skin and, and beautiful lips. And I... I <sighs> How do people fucking look like this? Like in her videos, I can see that she looks like, my cheeks look like toads. My cheeks look like the back of toads. I'll go ahead and leave her channel link in the description box down below, and I'll let you guys finish up this video on your own. Enjoy.
Thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later. Oh,